thank you, or you may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Every time is my money. Tell your neighbor, good morning, church. Thank you, viewers at home. We are in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, I, I was somewhere listening to the testimony. What a wonderful testimony today. It really enhanced our faith. Yes, they are testimony that establish, that builds. And I know your faith is, your faith is strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I would not be able to, to have uh, what I have in the in the bus a message for you today. But uh, let's continue going by the message we have received from the wise men. Wise men came out to share wonderful message with us, and uh, and uh, going by the testimony to from the people. We have heard so much. Let's let's punch over this. Think about it. How question ask your neighbor, how does this message bless you? Ask your neighbor once again. Give us at home. You can give us at home. How? Are you viewers? Thank you. The not only testimony, not only message, even the testimony of people. Yes, it blessed me, and I know it blessed you. Uh, yes, what are the lessons we have to learn from? Wow, wow, there are various, numerous lessons. But just, uh, let's have just one or two. And, uh, the whole lesson is in the Bible here. Very demanding the lesson here because it's not outside the Bible. Lesson are here. Let us see your Bible. Wow. Some say my Bible is my heart. I want to agree with you. I say some say my Bible is my heart. Oh, yeah, you are right. Your Bible is so it's right. You are right. Hallelujah. Because say, I, I, some say I have faith. My Bible is my heart. And uh, the Bible says faith grows in the heart, in the spirit of man, as you listen and obey the message. And uh, ah, hallelujah. This is my Bible, my heart, an uncommon book. And on, on common what? I can't hear you. It's an uncommon book. It's, it's an uncommon book if you are uh, taking it with the help of Holy Ghost. The uncommon book. You must also read it. Must be read uncommon. That is, uncommon book requires an, un, uh, an uncommon sort of reading. Yes, uncommon book requires an uncommon what? Sort of reading. You can't just be reading your Bible the same way you read your book at home. Think of books you have at home. Uh, you have uh, a lot of literature, history, and so on and so forth. Philosopher. Philosophy book. So this uncommon book. And it requires an uncommon sort of reading. How? Word of wisdom. Because when you live here, you need to you need to continue growing in faith. If this book is 
an uncommon bow and it requires an uncommon sort of reading. How do we read? Uh, I, I, let me just give you my, my personal experience, how I read my Bible. Wow, it's wonderful. I think uh, when I'm reading my Bible, I, I, I read it repeatedly, slowly, attentively. Are you with me? I read my Bible attentively, slowly. Repeatedly. Think about that. Because it's a bull that read me as I read it. He read me as I'm reading it. I'm reading Bible and it's reading me. Can you see? And there's no book like that in the world that you read and he reads you. As I read, he read me. So I read my Bible slowly, attentively, and repeatedly. So not like any other. I read many, I read books, but this is an uncommon. Are you there? So because I want you to grow in your faith. When you live here, you should continue to grow, continue to grow, continue to grow. This is an uncommon book. An uncommon book requires an uncommon sort of reading. And uh, how do we read them? I, T.B. Joshua, I read my Bible attentively Slowly, not that I don't understand, but I will slowly, 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 slowly. I will go back again repeatedly, inciting my name where the message is personal. If there's any name, Davy, Peter, I will put my name there. Because it read me as I'm reading it. Read me as I'm reading it. Are you there? Are you get home? Think about that. And uh, I was uh, discussing, people keep asking me a question. In those, my my, my beginning of my journey, my journey as a minister of God, I, I remember a, a book, and I don't want to mention that book here because you will continue to read, not that the other book are not good for you, but it, it really helped me. It's a psalm, I want to tell you that about. Beginning of my journey, there's a psalm that really, that really helped me so much. You know, when you think about what you read, you becoming you you become familiar with God's name. you think, the more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar with his voice. Because there are many voices, but 
Yeah, sometimes you dream, you don't know. Ah, I don't know this kind of dream. Or I don't know. You keep asking people to tell you. The voice, you don't know which voice is this. The more you think about what you read here, the more you become familiar with his voice, God's voice. The more you understand about yourself and this God that created you, because you don't understand yourself. If you say you understand yourself, tell me what will happen next to you. What will happen tomorrow? That many of you won't actually come because of contract. You don't know how, whether it's right for you or you want to travel, whether it's it's right to travel, you don't know marriage, you don't know whether this marriage is God's marriage. You don't know God's opinion about yourself. And you, if you don't know God's opinion about yourself, you can't know God's opinion about others. The more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar with his voice, his own voice, and the more you understand yourself, because you don't understand yourself. That is why if thought comes in your heart, you don't believe yourself. You'll be going, some thought will say, go back, go back. You say, ah. Which kind of thought is telling me go back? Well, let me go. Because you don't understand yourself. And the more you understand this God that created you, I was telling you about a song that really helped me in my journey right from the beginning. Well, it's a common song that everybody knows. Even most of us already know it. When I met you, I said, ah, you know, it's Psalm 23. The Psalm 23 is a pattern of thinking. Hey, your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. When the mind becomes saturated with it, and a new life as a result. With me, when a mind becomes saturated with this, a new way of thinking and a new life are the results. That is why we that brought about this. A bracelet faith. Put it on the screen. The bracelet faith. I tell you have a copy, tell the camera boy. Let's put it on the screen.
Okay, so this here. My hand, I think they should, they have half a lot of shoe. And I'm expecting them to put it on screen. When a mind becomes saturated with this, a new way of thinking, a new way, a new way of thinking and a new life are the result. Take note of it. A man is what he thinks about all day long. A man is what he thinks about all day long. Like you are sitting down what that is a man's life. What his thought make it. Tell your neighbor, a man's life is what his thought make it. That is, a man is what he thinks about all day long. A man is what he thinks about all day long. Thinking of thought. A man is what he thinks about all day long. In other words, in other words, a man, a man's life is what his thought make it. So this bracelets will keep you busy when you are at home. I, I, I mentioned of Psalm 23. In those days, when I was a baby Christian, when I'm sitting down, you know, it's my shepherd. I always, this is what goes through my mind. When I'm sitting alone, I'm always, you know, it's my shepherd, I shall not want to make me lie down in the tree. To so take God's word to heart. Thinking of thoughts, take God's word to heart. Tell your neighbor. Not memorizing the word. But rather in thinking of what? Eh? Thoughts. I started as a baby Christian by taking it memorized is my shepherd shall not run to them. But when the thing become part of me, an integral part of me, he enter my heart. And the thing begin to influence my conduct and my behaviors. 
Now, if I, if I want to talk, the Lord is my shepherd. You know the meaning of the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So, now, you know, the greatest source of human's trouble, human, is the think of tomorrow, the worry of tomorrow. It is the greater source of human worry is tomorrow. What will happen next? What will happen to me next? What can I do? How will I do this business? If I live here, what will happen? If I leave this place, what will happen? Ah, can you help, help this man? Can you help, help him? So this has Memorizing well. Not what? But in thinking of thought. This is why I say the more you think about what you read in the Bible, the more familiar you become with his voice. And you know that beyond our body and minds are our soul. That is why the ministers of God must be consigning about the soul of man. But when the soul is sick, the man is sick, and only God can heal the soul. Are you with me? I take it back again. Beyond our bodies and mind are our soul. Beyond our what? Our bodies and our mind, our soul. This is why we are concerned about your soul. Because when the soul is sick, the man is sick. And who can heal the soul? God. You know, in the book of Thessalonians, 523 you say man is a divine person possessed spirit soul and body it is possible to feed the body but what of soul and spirit because we have no emotional reaction to their existence. Can we say they are not exist? Because we have no emotional reaction to their existence. No. Don't say they exist. The soul we seek think the, the soul which thinks error seek. When your soul, when your heart begins to think, I don't know what I'm going to eat, I don't know what will happen to me next, you are sick. Or I don't know where to go. I don't know whether the man will pay me the money. Where will I go now? 
It's not only those who have cancer or HIV or heart attack or hypertension or this. The greatest sickness is when you don't know the un un uncertainty, you don't know what will happen next. It's the greatest sickness. So, which thinks error? Or, uh, um, I don't know, you're just fed up. You're just fed up. You have many people that promise you, you say, no, I don't know. I can't call, continue calling them because I'm fed up. I di I'm disappointed. Suddenly, one of them just call you and say, come on, collect. Get there, they give you. Doctor cannot cannot diagnose this kind of sickness. This kind of sickness I'm talking about. When everything that just happened to you happened to you unprepared, millions will just come unprepared. You, you never believe that they can give you trillion dollars. You have done the business, the money just come on PPA. You know what? You can't be, it is, I don't know, 99% of people like that, they don't make anything out of that money. Because if you know money is coming, you get yourself PPA, you have a covenant with your God, you know how to go about it. But suddenly, me, millions of dollars just arrive, just come. It will go the way it come. Suddenly, you never prepare for a promotion, and you just get to the office, and they give you a letter. You, a manager, they give you a letter as general manager. You say, ah, you mean general manager to go to where this big office? If care is not taken, the promotion will just go the way it come. Which thinks error? Like I have said, this ways of wisdom to prepare you when you live here. After you have received so much lesson message from the wise men and the testimony of our people. God. The bracelets I'm talking about. In those days when I was a baby Christian, Assume I, I had this bracelet then, it would have helped me greatly. But so begin to think about your debt, debtor. Begin to think about those who disappoint you. Begin to think about those who betray you. Begin to think about those days. Begin to think about that. Begin to think about no food on the table. Begin to think about uh, what are you going to eat today. Begin to think about tomorrow. Begin to think about oh, all this rubbish. These are the things that take your loved one that, that died in the past. You begin to think about And those things cannot revive the situation. So you begin to think about that. To think about your pain. You have now begin to say, am I really a Christian? I'm sick, I'm poor. If I'm a Christian, why did? Why do you measure your Christian life by your situation? So begin to think about this. Begin to think, that bring about worry of tomorrow. Now, those 
disgusting as now dominating your mouth and now dominating your heart. Now begin to influence your conduct and your behaviors. When you behave now, your behavior is, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Even if what you are going to eat, you receive it now, you begin to take up, what am I going to eat next tomorrow? Because it's your, it's, it's your, it's your culture. Even if you have what you are going to eat throughout this year, you say, what am I going to eat two years to come? So what my want is unlimited. So these are the things that dominating your mouth. Now dominating your heart and begin to influence your conduct. Where are you going? In those days, when I was a young Christian, a baby Christian, the law is my shepherd, I shall not want. I shall not want. That gave me, with that faith, I, 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 I could walk today. And live tomorrow for, for God. So the law is my shepherd, I shall not want. So now that gave me the courage to work today and live tomorrow for God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That is a courage, encouragement. So that this is why I call it a pattern of thinking. If you allow this psalm to, to become part of you, a new way of thinking, a new way, a new way of thinking and a new life are the results. You begin to think differently and you leave everything for God. Psalm 23. At the beginning, being a baby Christian, it will be in your only in your mouth, you try to memorize it, yes. But as time goes on, habit is a thing you do twice. You begin to do when you become part of you and habit. Part of you, you, you'll find it, you, it become, I mean, it, I mean, it will dominate in your heart. As you are sitting down now, you begin to rehearse it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When, you, when this begins to go on and on and on at the beginning, it's not in your heart. But when it now finally dominates your mouth, it has nowhere to go than to dominate your heart. When it finally dominates your mouth, tell your neighbor, when the word finally dominates my mouth, it has nowhere to go than to dominate in my heart. And if it finally dominate in my heart, it will begin to influence my conduct and my behaviors. Are you with me? If something, look, if you put something in your mouth like a food, the, you refuse to vomit it or to throw it away, you store it in your mouth you, and you refuse to, to, to let it go, you will finally swallow it. Ah, it's not possible if you just put a rice, full of rice, and you, you refuse to allow it go or to vomit it, throw it out. But it full your mouth, dominating your mouth. You, it will finally go inside. It will finally, you finally swallow, swallow it. That is what I'm talking about. At the beginning, it will not inflame your conduct. The, your role allow it to dominate in your mouth. When they were dominating your mouth by meditation, begin to think. The more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar 
with his word, his voice. Allow it to dominate in your mouth first. That is your role. At the beginning, you have you have to pay that price. When it dominates your mouth alone and you want to pray in Jesus' name, nothing because it's in your mouth. Because it is the word that dominating the heart that builds. It is the word that dominated the heart that established. It is the word that dominated the heart that heals. It is the word that dominated the heart that delivers. So if that word is only in your mouth and dominating your mouth, in Jesus' name, you are talking to yourself. The word will go back to you. You are just wasting your time. So that is why many today, you keep saying, Jesus' name, Jesus' name be here, Jesus' name be here. They can preach, they can powerful message. They have the knowledge of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. They were only dominating their mouth. And when you speak it, it go back to you. You are speaking to yourself, people, and you will hear you, and you hear yourself, God will not hear you. Because where God is, is in our heart. There's no mouth. So when the word dominating your mouth, and you refuse to allow it goes, there will be temptation to, to when this is not working, I mean, I'm not really a Christian, what's wrong? When it finally dominates your heart, your mouth, it, it has nowhere to go down to go back, to dominating your heart. Like what I was saying last time, that mouth is like a city room, and the heart is like a bedroom. If somebody refuses to leave your bedroom, it will finally enter your wall. If somebody refuses to leave your city room, you will finally enter your wall. You will enter your bedroom. If you sit down there, even if you have a visitor that has nowhere to go, you want to help and sit in your city room, one day, first day, second day, uh, you allow him to enter your bedroom. So in, this, in the same day, the word of God allow it to dominate in your mouth by beginning to talk think of it all the time what you have read now today what you have heard from me the more you think about it the more the way we replace your wall we will dominate your house so don't let it go thank you let's offer for prayer to speak to your heart Lord Jesus give me a hearing heart Lord Jesus give me a hearing heart I can hear you Lord Jesus this is prayer prayer ask for a hearing heart a hearing heart ask him to open the door of your heart a hearing heart a hearing heart a hearing heart A hearing heart. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I can hear you. Amen. I can hear you. Amen. Don't forget, now you have resumed. Right now, the more you think about what you read, what you hear, the more you become familiar with God's word. God's voice. Tell your neighbor, the more you think about what you hear, I mean, the more you think about the message you hear now, 
the more you think about what you read in the Bible, the more you think about the testimony you have listened to, the more you become familiar with God's voice. You may be seated. You may be seated. Now, take this principle once again. There are two principles given to you today. A man's life is what he thinks about all day long. What are you thinking about now? What I told you now? Think about what you read. Think about the message you have listened now, you have heard now. Think about the testimony of people that so aspiring. Think about them. Before you know it, you begin to know God's opinion about yourself and about others. No, 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 no. Don't stop. For now you have started it and it will continue forever. Yes. Yes. Man is what he taught, what his thought make it. Now, 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 nothing can change you. This is the way to salvation. This is just the way to salvation. Take note of that. This is just the way to salvation. As you are sitting down, no matter on the outside, don't let anything cross your mind. Don't let anything disturb your spirit. Now, 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 you have heard me? Yes. A man's life is what he thinks about. Last week, I gave, I gave you the, 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 the plan for success. I said you want to succeed, first keep the way in your mouth. Meditate day and night and do what the word say. This is continuation. A lot of things will come along the line. A lot will come to, to remove you from, from the track. You have a track, a new life now. A new life is you believe now that your life is what you think about. Whatever problem you have at home and you are here, whatever is behind you, don't let it bother you. The law is my shepherd. I shall not want. With that faith, you can walk today and live tomorrow for God. Amen. So, this is just my blessing for you. And uh, it's not just coming here, this is the testimony and all that. No. No. Take your Bible, read slowly, attentively, and repeatedly. Because why you have to read slowly? Because the Bible itself is reading you as you are reading it. Attentively means when you are reading, along the line, you hear the voice from the Bible. Because he speaks to you, you speak to him. Because when you just read, read, read. Okay, the, the, the challenge we are having now is that uh, we, we talk, 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 talk. We never wait to hear from God. One-sided issue. No, prayer is, when you talk, you have to hear. You know, I told you last week that Learn how to how to do how to hear when we pray is a much greater blessing.
learn how to hear when you pray in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name and you hear yes you whom are you praying to God you hear Mm. Learn to learn how to believe that God hears us when we pray is much greater blessing. But before this can be established, take note. Your seed, you know, seed, S W E D, must move your faith, and your faith must move God. Your seed must move your faith and your faith must move God. When your seed move your faith, your faith will move God. And what is seed? Are you are you with me? Before this can be established, your seed must move your faith and your faith must move God. Seed. What you are doing now is seed. Sitting down. You are sowing seed. If only you are sincere. Sitting down, living with your home. Your home. I don't know where you come from. And you come all the way through the sea, through the air, through the deal, persecution, a lot, a lot of things that will have stopped you. You refuse to be stopped. Even your nights, you are have a nightmare that where you are going is not a good place. Satan wants to deceive you. So when you wake up like this, Satan, you are a liar. I'm going there. <laughs> or when you wake up in the morning, you start having serious chronic headache. Ah, I don't used to have a headache. Why should you? I'm, I'm planning to go somewhere. I'm having a headache. Oh, this is. Anybody that here around you will say it's a bad sign. My brother, it's a bad sign. Don't go there. By the time the man, the person leaves, you say, ah, if it is a bad sign, no, 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 you shall be, I'll go there. You still go there. You have so seed. Now come in and sit down. Not for selfish, not for classes, not for materialism. You are sowing seed. Now you listen to me for salvation of your soul. And you say, look, what this man say, he said to me today, I'm going to take his word. He said, my life is what I think about all day long. Oh, it touched me. You now decided to, I've been thinking of my past. I've been thinking about my failure, I've been thinking about this, I've been thinking about this, my sister, my brother, my wife, my husband, my this, my business is not moving, you know, as I'm sitting down, I'm worried. But this man said, my life is what I think about. What do I need to think about? Yes. I need to think about what I read, the word of God. Is the, is the instrument, effective instrument for shame. What I'm thinking about in the past cannot shame me. The only thing that can shame me is the word of God. Let me think about the word of God. Simple, you are showing see. Because many people, they don't know see. They, when they say see, they thought it's money. They say, when I say, when I say your seed must move your faith, and your faith must move God, they say, ah, he has started, he want to collect money. You want to collect money, oh, oh, my friend. They, we have come again, you. Oh. We have come again, you. Oh, ah, the man has started. He has started. He has started. It's money. No seed. Even your looking is seed. If that's your seed, your looking is of God. You are showing seed. So, I'm talking of. Every good thing the Lord has given you. Every good thing. Your strength, your love. You must plant your love. 
you must plan your strength your quality one not the one you, your strength you don't need when you are sick that is when you say i'm going to church but when you are where you are in the club house when you are where you go to club you started dancing but when you force it you go to church now you are sitting down now today because uh, maybe it is not the, the your quality time you have to give your time your quality one so these are the seed i'm talking about every good thing the lord has given to you they plant it so your seed must move your faith and your faith must move god so we don't know the journey it's not just faith people say faith 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 and faith in god and faith in god which kind of faith are you talking about your seed must first of all move your faith when your seed move faith faith move god are you clear with me huh okay let me give, give you a good example of what I'm talking about. Look at the issue of money we are talking about. If money is in the hands of bad man, the money becomes bad. But if the money is in the hands of good man, it's a good money. The same money, but depend on the carrier. If the money it is the same money if the money is in the hands of bad man it's a bad money but if that money is in the hand of good man it's good money that is why if somebody if you have a hey, this is your money who is the person that have the money that's the question that's it if you touch it you satisfied for touching it it is you sometimes when uh, some students they will bring their pen their pencil for 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 blessing i laugh i say is it your pencil that will write your examination or you if your pen and your pencil is blessed and you that carry the pencil and pen are not blessed what are you talking about in the same day bible we are talking about depend on who carry the bible the same bible i'm carrying now if you carry it you may not be able to say anything or bring anything out of it depend on the person that have the bible it's the same way if the bad man carry money the money become bad if the good man have the money is a good money if the bad man carry bible is a bad man if the good man carry the Bible, is a good. You hear the word of God. This is just it. So see, your seed must move your faith, and your faith must move God for for for, for freedom. Okay, um, our coordinator, can we just hear one? Because uh, we have taken so much. We will not be able to hear two testimony, just one, so so that we ushered, we use that to usher ourselves to work to another dimension. Nous allons maintenant passer à la section des témoignages, des cas spéciaux. Nous allons regarder la vidéo de ce qui s'est passé quelques semaines auparavant avant d'écouter la personne en direct. Restez connectés. What are you thinking about? Ask your neighbor. I can hear you. I can hear you. Again and again. Yes. That is your life. What you are thinking about, that is your picture. What you are thinking about. What am I thinking about? My life is what I think about. Your life is what you think about. all day long so we are, we are listening to we want to hear just the number one only one 
man's life is what he thinks about all day long. En los momentos You listen to that? What we are trying to drag here is a lesson to every one of us. When I meet a gentleman, I say, why is why? I say, my wife is inside the church. I say, ah. He say he has only one wife. I say, I'm talking of, there's another one I'm talking about. He said, no, I have only one wife. So if I'm not truly here from God, there and then, maybe I want to scatter family. Okay, let them play it back again. And I now take him back that there's a controversy. But when I see the way he was nodding his head and uh, the heart was beating, I said, okay, okay, we see. Okay, Uncle Mario, don't worry. We see. You know, I look at the heart, your heart. Uh, your heart. Straight. I look what you are thinking about. Not now, what you are thinking about. What you have been thinking about before coming here. Didn't. That's why I put all day long. Play it back, play it back. This is it, huh? The man of God wants to scatter the family. Is that all? The, his reply mean, this man wants to scatter my home. That's your first wife? No, that's my only wife. There's trouble. We, we, we want to fight now. When I realize that uh, I, I have to take, explain little. So please take it back again. Let's watch it. We are going to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. I have only wife. <laughs> I have only wife. Man of God, you're, you're a liar. But when I see that uh, this data is not conditional, I don't want to go too far. I say, I want to see you. Okay, let's hear what happened today. So if the man of God is talking to you, the cause of your problem, the cause. The issue of this Psalm 23, I think I still need to talk about it this week, or if I have time. So how to use this bracelet faith, I think I need to explain, so that you will not begin to compare with whatever you have seen in a religious circle. No. It really to help you. If you know the importance of it, like you are sitting down now, you are not supposed to sit down like you need something from on the outside. Yes. While your heart is going, something on the outside too will be working with you, something on the inside. Look at how I told you when I was a baby Christian, I, the, the, the Psalm 23. In a day, I can, I can think, I can, I can meditate a hundred times. Even when I was sleeping, I could remember in those days, when I'm sleeping in those days when I was very young, I'm still young anyway. <laughs> because people say I have a white beard. And that is not an evidence of old man. Eh? So, uh, when I was, my people used to say, when I'm sleeping, they would just see me starting to rehearse the Psalm 23. You know, it's my favorite. They would just wake me. What's wrong? What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? I would just wake up. I would be sleeping, lying, even when I was in school. Uh, even in the afternoon, in the school, when I'm sleeping like this, I would suddenly rehearse it. Just 
they will now touch me say what's wrong what's wrong but people that are christian they will say oh this man is is reading something to tell because it become part of me i first i use that instrument first to destroy all forces to scat to 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 scare them away so that's some dominating first taking over my my the entire body before i begin to grow that sun is very powerful if you agree with me let us see your hand very very powerful read it read it and think about it that psalm enter me destroy all the forces and and uh, uh, over you know when you say overhauling to overhaul your vehicle you know what it means that is the sound because 20 hundred times i will when i'm walking i'll be talking like this i'll be meditating it meditating it meditating when i'm sleeping i will be talking about it again even when i'm talking when i'm sitting down i have nothing to think about i allow that term to take over my life after that then the word of god begin to to expand to take dominion you have i've given you the key next meeting i will tell you about that song that song what happened to the day feel ready that song came to be it's a powerful song and many people they don't know the meaning of great passions they don't know the meaning if you allow that song to dominate in your mouth and you are you successfully make it dominating your mouth and fool your mouth and finally enter your heart wow you'll be eating with god like this so this brought about this bracelet faith we are having here that when you have it you begin to I mean, I'm writing a book, a pamphlet that will follow it, how, to, how it can help you. Many things you are doing, like you are traveling, you are inside the vehicle, you are traveling inside the aeroplane or ship, or you are inside the vehicle, or you are sitting in the church, or you are alone, you are lying down inside the house, you say you want to rest. It's a time. A resting time is time to meditate mostly. You must observe two time, work time and rest time. Rest time, time to receive, and work time, time to give. Now, this is my work time. I'm given what I've received in my rest time. If I've not received anything in my rest time, I will not have anything to give you. But you, your rest time, you are not receiving anything than the blaspheming, talking, up and down, this, that, 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 business failure, everything, did they run up and down to club and the meeting and all of that, did they, did they, did they, and all that, fighting, disagreement, did they, did they, newspaper, a long reading, did they, did they, novel, a lot of things, running up and down, this and that and that and that and that. These are the trends you want to use your rest time for. Rest time, time to receive. Working time, time to give. Jesus observed these two times, rest time and work time. Okay, let's watch the video so that we listen to the brother. Devant la vidéo de la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu, il disait oh, Ta femme, oh, ta première femme, elle a dit qu'il n'a qu'une seule femme, sa seule femme. Elle a dit Je veux te voir qu'il y a une controverse. Alors maintenant, écoutez leur témoignage en direct. Sorry. I, I think uh, we, we follow the, the whole. I, there is need for me to come into the matter. You, you listen to the 
prophetic word given to him when I was asking him hey did, 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 did. he said no I have only one wife did, did, did. what of the controversy controversy issue about concerning a child he said no that's nothing like that so this is what he has been holding him in bondage look a mind which is sick is a sick mind I mean a mind which think wrong is a sick mind tell your neighbor I can hear you a mind which think wrong is a sick mind it's not only the person that have cancer or HIV or this or that many of you are healthy to you you are healthy but the sickness you have is more than cancer many of you when you go to doctor you are free your head is completely okay very strong nothing happened to you your blood pressure is okay everything is okay but the sickness you have is more than those who have cancer but you are you are a dead living many are free healthy head wife complete they are okay but dead living a mind which think wrong which think wrong which think error put it i will put the word error a mind which thinks error is a sick mind yes okay if with this now who is in the world that are not sick then if there's anyone here that is is not sick tell me because this kind of sickness doctor cannot diagnose it if you tell doctor doctor doesn't know what it means by even when you have nightmare every day they beat you in the day beat you in the day, go to doctor doctor will say i can't say anything a mind which thinks error is a sick mind It's a good example. The, my brother is a good example in the past. What was thinking it was error. But today, look at. And this situation has actually had him in bondage for many years. The business collapsed, everything collapsed. Had been strongly to get this right no way. But he never, he would never think there's something wrong somewhere. Not until this prophetic way, I said to him, my brother why is that your wife which wife no i have one wife my wife is in the church you want to scatter my house inside me i said well i'm not here to scatter your house he said my wife is there beautiful wife is sitting down i said okay but there's a controversy he said no there's nothing like that so since that time we have been trying to put see it must the what i'm seeing must i'm seeing it and immediately he got home, he called, he said, ah, I forgot, this happened to me, this is, yeah, yeah. Okay, you could not trace it, but by prayer, we are able to trace it. The child is inside the church, he has never seen the child, but the child is inside the church now. <laughs> let the child, let, let the child come out. For how many years? Eh? It's 28 years now. 28 eh? years now. You, you, you saw her last. Do you? I've not seen her before. Uh -huh. you, you don't even know her? Yes, sir. Okay, let's let her come out. Come out. In this moment, we are seeing the wife of this man who he rejected since 28 years. We are seeing her in this moment. Look at the woman. Look at this auntie. As I is looking, it. who is this man? Il n'a jamais vu sa fille auparavant. Depuis 38 ans qu'il a renié cet enfant. Alors, sa fille maintenant s'avance avec ses enfants. Où est-ce que tu as pris la photo Peux-tu voir les deux photos Mets les deux faces. Le mari, le mari et la femme. Tu vois 
see the see the face is that not vomiting see the two face see the two face can you stand up and tell God God review my own Review your own. Now, now, the father is there now. The daughter is. There. They don't know whether to hold themselves or to greet themselves. I mean, the lady starts crying. At what age he has? I mean. Not this prophetic way, the man will remain forever like that. He has collapsed. It will remain that collapsing because he could not trade the cause of the problem. But this is the cause. The revelation has come. Once again, next week I will talk about it. This Psalm 23 I'm talking about. Is a pattern of thinking. When your mind married, marry it, that is, and your mind becomes saturated with it, marry with it, and you is dominating your mouth, and you begin to think about it. You know it. You, first of all, there is nothing you can do. You have to memorize it first. From there. You begin to get it in, get it in, get it in. And I told you the way in that psalm is 118. Shortly you can memorize it within a second, you know it. Begin to meditate it, to flush out all the. Mm. And I told you, memorizing the way cannot give power. Cannot release the power of God. Take note of that. But what? But what? In thinking the thoughts, thinking the thoughts, thinking the war, thinking the thoughts. Release the power. Like I have said, I say, the more you think about what you read, the more you become familiar with his voice. Memorizing the word cannot release the power of God, but by thinking the thoughts. Like we have said today, that's Psalm 23. It's a blessing for you today. Yeah. Yes. And I know many of you, as I'm saying it now, before they will leave the church, it's, it will become part of them. So everything you need to, to pray for is inside it. If you read it very well, the prayer you offer is, is, is pregnant, it's inside that sound. What's this again? If man's life is what he thinks about, think about that Psalm 23 and see what will happen to you. And let it become part of you. When you are sitting down, part of you, before this, I mean, faith bracelets come out. It will really help you. So I assume you have it, you begin to think, if what you are thinking about now is that revelation, when I come out now, I will just talk about what you have been thinking about. So you may be seated, thank you. So you have listened, you have seen the family. 
Wow. For the first time he's seen Oh. So, who is this man? That is my, he's my cook. He was the one that knows our secret. That's the one, yes. Is this your person? Yes, my cousin. Thank you. To put the cousin? Thank you. At the table, who is on the table? Why can't you have somebody in the, on the table? Dit que c'est son cousin, c'est celle le seul qui connaissait le secret. Que lui et cette fille. Ouais. I think. Uh, how old are you now? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. This, they are your children. Yes, sir. You have to forgive your dad because. Uh, this is by revelation, it's not by a human being. It's not human harm. Not somebody, not you just wake up and begin to do the traces. It has been your prayer. What have been your prayers before now? We pray to see him. Eh? Speak louder. All my life, I've been praying to see him. All your life, you have been praying to see him. But your mommy gave you some picture in the past. Speak louder. Move close. Can you come here? Eh? He didn't tell, she didn't tell me anything. Your mommy did not tell you anything? Yes, sir. How We are very sorry because people want to learn from you. Because we have today is a glorious day. What kind of prayer you have been offered? Please tell us. How you offer the prayer? All my life, I've been staying with my grandmother. That is the person that I took as my mother. But I don't know she's my grandmother. So she died here in 1999. That was when I came to Lagos to stay with her son and the wife. So my SSE exam, the family did not register me. So one day, I was having an issue with them. So the wife now called me a bastard. The this husband now said, I behave like my father. So I ran away from the house. I went to meet my uncle because he lived closer to the house. So I now talked to my uncle that Uncle, see what this woman told me, that I'm a bastard. Did you know anything about it? If not, I will kill myself. Or I will run away from the house. So he now told me that I have a father. That is a secret. He said, what kind of secret that you will not tell me in this kind of my situation? Speak louder, please. So he now said it's a secret. That nobody knows about it except him, my mother, and my father. I said, okay. If you cannot tell me anything about it, it's better for me to run away. So I now run away from his house. Unfortunately, they find me. That is the husband and the wife where I'm living. So after my SSCE exam, she has a restaurant that is in mainland, uh, island. So she now, she said I should help her like be selling in her beer parlor restaurant. So that was where I was telling with her, I was staying and helping her to sell. All those through all through those days, I was crying, I was weeping because I was going through trials and temptation. Any little thing that I did, she would repeat that bastard. Anywhere I am, I'll be asking God, I need to know where I come from. So she now introduced me to one man, that is my husband now, that I should go and marry him. That's how I was sitting here. Okay, it's all right. What, what will you, will you, you have, uh, I don't know what you will, will this is your oh, daughter, Sandor, please, Sandor. Mm, I don't know. 
No, no. I think I need to sit. And these are your children? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, my, this is my first one, and this is the second one. Okay, so now. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. So we thank God for this this revelation, and uh, uh, we, the name of God is so wonderful. And uh, this is a job for you. Mm, since God has uh, shown so much, so much mercy and kindness, I don't know. So it's, So please, you take them to the. Uh, let them have uh, round table. Okay, we are not going to listen to your wall here because uh, the member they are very, they are very tense. Uh, I, mean, I don't want to woo any emotional. So people are not. Uh, people will not want to hear anything. Okay, so help me take them to the round table. Okay, the father we we will do the right thing over there. So not in the in the open here, okay? So please, my daughter, please. Thank you very much. Let's. La mère de cette jeune femme qui dit que sa mère ne lui a jamais rien dit à propos de son père. Mais vu le stigma qu'elle a eu depuis son enfance, elle a toujours prié que Dieu puisse pouvoir lui montrer qui était son père. Because uh, we we don't know the kind of we cannot ask the father to lead them for the daughter. And then we cannot, we don't. <laughs> so let, I think the father should do whatever he want to do over there, not uh, here, okay? Because uh, I know the father want to be on his, no, not, uh, okay? Mm, I don't know. So, so, so we, this is a church of all nations and different culture all over the world. And a different way of looking and different way of approaching things. It's okay, that's it. Uh, <laughs> so, be wise, you should understand. I can, I will not be able to go too far beyond that. Where the that kind of uh, father go to daughter, and, and you cannot expect his daughter to go and beg. He has nothing to beg now. He has a pain of the past. His father that have the duty to say, okay. He has never met the father and he don't know the father. And uh, not that they told the father about the history, but he denied it. But uh, not when the revelation come. So therefore, in this case now, we... Uh, uh, I don't know. So, uh, let it be like that. They will come next week to give testimony. Okay? As a father... As, as a father and daughter, they will, will come and give testimony. But the reconciliation there is not going to be where you will be and I will be. Okay. Let them settle down. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wow. Um, the same revelation some times ago. There was a revelation that uh, actually brought out uh, a, a Baba and the wife. And uh, it's like at uh, the same time, the same time with this man on, on Sunday, Baba who married a woman. And uh, and I said they swallow something. So the woman vomited that thing last Sunday. Cowrie. So Baba is I think Baba Chu, I don't know. Because of time, so we, we will not be able to go to that. Huh? Because the viewers all over the world they have been bothering, they want to know what, what am I going to do? Because I said last time that uh, Baba until the wife of Baba come home, this lady too she have to pay the price. He can't leave Baba without the wife, former wife, come back home. 
So viewer has been written, sending me an email. Some praise, some condemn me. So I said, and I know, by the, the, the last Sunday when they saw the cowrie I share is inside them, the, the lady vomited it out. I know many that uh, really look at it from other angle will have changed their mind. So let's, let's, uh, where we're going is, let's, let's, let's quickly let's see the revelation. Can you let us see what happened here? Yes, Oui, téléspectateurs, nous regardons à nouveau la vidéo de cet homme qui était marabout. The following Sunday, the Herbalist came back to the synagogue church of all nations with his family. Let's listen to them. A wori de ade ola ade ye mo ojo ori mi je 80 years the man says his name is mr adeola adeyemo and he's 80 years of age what is your name madam and your age 35 years my name is nike adeyemo and i'm 35 years of age Okay. Baba Ojiyo, Baba Oni Oo, so e se fa fun e. Mi Ojiyo. But e so e se fa fun. Oso, oso. Anti kini ni e fi she e ni ni e. After effect ni. You heard it from the woman. She is also begging the United Malogon for a favor that when uh, she first met uh, the witch doctor that the witch doctor did an evil bond, a charm, to tie both of them together spiritually. And that if Baba should die today, it is certain that she also would die. That there was a particular witch doctor they met that revealed this to her, that Baba has done a charm to tie both of them together, and that Baba was very wicked to have done that, and that she should meet her mother and her father to make sure that Baba release her from this bond. So, please take it easy. I'm going to see Baba Wai. And Baba Wai will be delivered. We settle the Baba home. Baba will be delivered. Before you can be loose from the bondage, if you say you are in the bondage, which we all agree. Whatever challenges, whatever you must have swallow whatever you must have eaten through the table of enemy be flush out be flush out be flush out, be flush out. in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus. Out! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Out! Fuera. Watch, watch your screen. Watch your screen again. Watch your screen. Watch your screen. L'extérieur de l'église, c'est de vomir les substances poisonneuses à l'intérieur de son estomac. This thing is not by swallow. It is not by eating like the way you are. No, it's not going to be the throat. It ends up by command. They say whatever they can say what they want to say. And the team move and they enter the stomach. Do you know how to take over? By command in the name of Jesus. That 
that is cowardly. Baba has his own. Baba has his own tiri cowardly inside his stomach. Now he's worrying him now. If they operate Baba, they cannot see it. It can only come out by command. They too cannot command it out, they can only command it in. They, they can destroy, but they cannot build. They can destroy, but they cannot build. So he command that inside, but now the thing is worrying him now. He cannot permit it, he cannot command it out. It is by power of God. Baba is here. Yes, okay, let's go. Yes. My, my name is Awoni De Adeola Adeyemo. I'm 80 years old. I'm a Ogun Meri Odun the Baba said he's 84 eight, years old. 80 years old. Amo omo ni mini ekiti. Let Baba speak English. He can speak English. Let Baba go ahead. Continue. And then ni ni mo fe. I married her. In nineteen ni mo fe so. Nineteen ten years. Yeah. Ten years, ten years now. Uh, huh? You say what? Ten years. Ten years. I married you not ten years ago. I married you long time ago, not ten years. Say the time, please. Please say the time. So but you more fell. Can the, the car please can you hold the mic and collect mic from this boy? Please. It's like uh, maybe he has a spirit of hey, tell Baba to talk louder. We enjoy him. Baba is a very interesting man. Uh, let him let, let he talk. Okay, let's hear from Baba. Uh -huh. I'm man uh, almost 18 years ago. That is what I know. Uh -huh. That date. Maybe eight is making me to forget. I don't know. Eight. I'm 80 or more. Mm. That is it. I married her. Uh, and uh, and I, I, most of the fact that is, I did a certain uh, sham to make her be mine, loyal to me, and I do to be loyal to her will be able to go on where that is it is back that is it at the table you can help there uh -huh. uh, baba said he married the woman 18 years ago and he did a charm on her and that charm will make the wife to be loyal to him and he also will remain loyal to her why can't you tr say it correctly? Baba did a this charm called Ifa, and uh, it's a kind of a covenant that this covenant, there's no one that can, only God can interpret. It's only God that can come to the matter. So there's no loyalty in this issue. It's a covenant, and there's no covenant on the other side. And uh, you, your covenant with God too, you know what it is. And that's it. So the lady want to talk. It's like lady is not there here. The lady is also first or her auntie. Uh huh. Oruka minike. Oruka minike. Eh, kwati baba so, kwati baba so. Oda kwe en first or kumbwe ya baba bagbe. Eh, Ben, that mo pi kini ya lojo. That mo shejele. Mo ansha la efun okwe mo bi kumbwe. 
awon ani awon oju pe lojo olorun pe awon mo yi pe olorun wa nbi bayi ipe to ri nda ti awon tu ese fa e awon mo pe ko tu ipe to ra awon ti so fun won pe ogun awon osise mo ipe so kini ye meta lo je ipe o ye o si pe okan si mi lara ipe o je wa lara ta won na pe meta na ni the wife is explaining that while she was in the service last week she vomited out some calories and when she got back home she explained to her husband what she had vomited the cowry and the husband further explained and confirmed the covenant he'd made with her that was the charm he did that whenever he leaves this world the wife too will leave the world automatically and the and the husband told her that by vomiting these calories that means that the charm is no longer working so the wife asked him further that how come she was able to find this curry inside her did he put it in her food then the husband explained that no i didn't put it in your food but i commanded the curry inside you okay let me ask baba okay let's uh, baba want to talk command is a, a powerful tool used by holding uh, if i worship us you know incantation uh, uh, words that are very powerful they they move very fast and very sharp and anywhere they land many things can happen yeah, they are very powerful so you have your own in your stomach, Baba? I have my two, three. Inside you? Inside you. Is it worry you now? Mm, as an old man, I will say no, but I want it out. I want it out. <laughs> you want it out? You say what? I want it out. I want to. But you have been vomiting since three days. Because yes. these two connect together. Once your wife own is out, it will affect your own. Because it will work pari paso. They are together. No, my own, I used to have a stomach ache. Serious one. And then I would put cola in the mouth to stop the vomiting. I want to vomit it. I like to push it out. Like my wife. So you don't, so you don't have, uh, you, you don't have any way you can command it out since you are the one command it inside. Uh, more than uh, three months ago now, my powers and my medicine seems not to be working. The, the powers are coming down. It has come down. And I don't want to use anything to increase the power. I want it to be down so, so that I'll be able to do my own. I, I want it off so that I can have the, um, what do you call it? I have a half door. So, how many of these cowries are inside you? I think it's three. it should be three. Cowries? Cowries, yes. It should okay. be three. Okay, you say three cowries are inside him. Okay, what is the use of that? What is the purpose of that cowrie inside you? Inside you? It's powers. We use it when it is needed. We send the message own work differently because when there is thunder you feel it because it work one of it work with the thunder give it to baba thunder thunder okay i can say yes yes okay if tell you, us what is the purpose of that scowl inside your stomach if you if you want to uh, send back a uh, signal 
somewhere. You can use it by thunder. You move it fast and uh, keep the place like a thunder rocks and uh, kill. That is how you can use it. Okay, the one of it you use it to send a, uh, something. Powerful message. Okay, like a halo. More than halo. More than halo. You can say gong or oh, oh, this thing that uh, Aru, Aru. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can send it, tell us how far, which, you mean outside this country you can use that thing to send it? You say what? Can you send it outside this country, to anywhere or what? I send it to many places, not overseas, but uh, uh, in African countries. Mm. Like what? Give us a sample, sir. Example. One of it is when uh, I enter the vehicle from Bini to Sapele and the driver took twice money from me. The money I should pay for two people, he took it from me. And I told him, you will not spend that money. He thought I was uh, 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 just loving that. Before he got to where he was going to, he capsized and um, the vehicle uh, uh, fell, in, fell into accident. I thought the man died, but I'm not sure. So, uh, what other examples? Other examples. Examples of what? Hmm? No, what what are the things the the cowry is doing in your stomach? Tell us more. Because you poison, eat the poison food and they give it to somebody having that cowry inside. It will not work. Whether it is poison, whether it is uh, to make him sick, it will not work. It's personal protection. What of the, when they shoot you? Shoot. We don't. Uh, uh, I don't think it will make it work. That the, the, this very power is uh, is powerful. Gun will not enter because it's like the uh, two positive. Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh -huh. Two, two, two. It's like a uh, positive charge. Uh, uh. Okay, Baba, the reason why I'm asking you, the reason why I'm asking you this question is because you want this, this thing to come out of your stomach. And uh, I'm only interested in removing it from this lady. If you want it to come out of your stomach, you have to confess everything you are using it for. So if when you are ready, I will call you back because of time. Because when we ask you a question, you think that maybe we are joking. And uh, the, your wife poison is own, our own has come out. For now, your own not to come out. You know your day a number. You two know that it's like uh, you are seeing grave, and you still want to live your life because tiri tiri. Now it's now two tiri. It's dangerous for you. So that's it. So you, this is why we are asking you. We want to. And if you come out now, if the whole thing come out now, you will not tell us what you are using it for. It is now you can talk. Now it's inside your stomach you can talk. <laughs> when the thing come out, Baba will not talk again. Yeah. <laughs> Baba say you want to confess. You want to confess. And and we are even we are even we are not even ready to listen to your confession, Baba. Please. Let huh? me confess. We are not ready to listen to you. It is okay. true, it is true you are 80 years. We have people inside the church that are 200 years old. Mm-hmm. We are not ready because you, you, Baba tried to play over our intelligence. Look at it.
people all over the world are sitting. Even people listening to humanity all over the world. Uh, we are not celebrated. We are celebrating the life of God. So that's it. So when Baba is ready, well, you let us know with humility. We respect you. Well, but what Baba is saying, or what he's saying now, he has not even said anything. We want to learn. How can a cowardly come out of the people's mouth? Okay. Hmm? Uh, give Baba. Why? What Baba say? Please, I'm ready to confess. I'm ready to confess, and I beg you, man of God, don't think of, uh, don't think about the death of this baby too. And I was here. We have three. Oh yeah. So you buy. So you buy. So in English. Eba mi roti o biri yi. Ema roti mi mi kan. E roti o biri yi. Abe kumi a wan ma meta. Kete ke e roti wan ojo la wan. Ta ba ti ba lo kan. Kiti wan na le da la ni ni te ri. Baba se. Baba se. He want to confess. He say he's very sorry. That I we should think about his children about the wife and about everything. They should not allow him to just go like that. They want to confess. Uh -huh. Okay, Baba. Let's hear, let's hear from Baba. Keep uh, that, that uh, covenant with my wife. Take care of it. You, my son, you know, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, Okay, he's now confessing now. He said that Kauri, one of it, when the day Baba will die, the wife will not spend seven days more. And he has to join him. Because it's not only this, they want to steal it. He said when he died today, the wife will not, the maximum day the wife can spend is seven days. He has to join him immediately. That is the one of the cowry. Now the wife cannot join him again. But now, if the wife cannot join him again, it has repercussion on him. Himself, the age will be reduced. That is it. So that's it. That's why I'm saying Baba need deliverance. I hope Baba will listen. Yes, I know I need deliverance and I want you to deliver me. Please, man of God. Okay, you have I said don't forget that if I should die like that, my wife is, uh, is not all that safe because that power will still torment her to be running after her. Please, please. The cowry, your wife has vomited the cowry. We are talking of you. The war. Uh -huh. Please, please pray for me. Help me let my own be out. If it is out, it is then out. Oh my. That's all you are. Well, you're born on the field. You're better than so. Mommy, tell me, I'm in love. Keep me in the garden. Go tell me now, you're free. The Baba said the man of God should help him so that the cowry, the three cowries inside him will come out and he will vomit them out just as he did in the life of his wife. Baba, as far as I concern, your wife is free, but remain one cowry inside your wife. And that that's just one remain. But this one has nothing to do with your own. If you die, you die. Your wife will not die with you. And the one remain is going to be removed. So I'm finished, I'm finished with your wife. But you, Baba, you know, you. Okay, let me ask Baba a question. What was the dream? Allah will learn in Ijanu. Molala, the, 
the man of God. I'm asking Baba the kind of dream he has five days because he has a dream five days. He has not told me, he has not mentioned it to me. He dreamed that the wife is free now and the wife is not part of him, but the only one remaining on the wife will torment Baba instead of torment, but uh, that one will be removed. Will be removed. So the question now, Baba is in trouble. I wish Baba good luck. Because Baba is not ready to be free. Eh? So the reason I'm expecting Baba to Baba will be vomit will vomit his own. That is just I'm not, not even expecting Baba to go home without being delivered today. But Baba keep talking up and down, up and down. That's it. So no problem. So I'll see Baba. So rise up, rise up because we have a lot of where to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stretch your hand, stretch your hand, give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. You know, when we leave here, we are going to pray a line. And uh, by the grace of God, I see assignment for me there. So, uh, I mean, like we have said today, a man's life is what he thinks about. What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about your freedom? Are you are you are you given are you given are you given your testimony now? When you have not yet prayed for and you are given your testimony, what a wonderful face. If I were you, I will be given my testimony. I will begin to confess my freedom when I'm not yet praying for. When that sickness, when that headache is still there, I will begin to confess my freedom. Ah, thank you, Lord, I'm here. Thank you, Lord, I'm here. I'm free. That is it. That is Christian for you. Because you know your God is God of healer. You begin to confess your freedom. Confess your freedom, your deliverance. So I think this is what I'm expecting you to begin now. A man's life is what he thinks about. I'm thinking about my freedom. Tell your neighbor, I'm thinking about my freedom. I'm, I'm giving my, 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 my testimony of freedom. So begin to confess your freedom and say, I'm free. Jesus is my freedom. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I want to go to the prayer line, and I wish, and I, it's my desire to come back, and because for the past one to two weeks now, I've not been ministered the prophetic in your midst here. But each time I think about the people prayer line, the job is so huge there. So I want to go there now when I. By the time I feel it there, I will come back to your miss. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Viewers at home.